drive-by shooting seems to be broken. It kind of works, but the weapon is invisible. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stony VR. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to quickly talk about about the problems you may come across when trying my GTA V VR Luke Ross with motion controls method. I really want you to experience it for yourself. It's really easy to set up. This is an old VR mod and you need to go to the keyboard. Meta headset pastor how is great in situations like that. And in this case you don't see the menu on the display, so you only see the menu in the VR set because it's Luke Ross modus. Get sure that the gameplay windows is focused. It could be that when you activate the VR mod, the gameplay window is not focused. The first things I talk about are not problems, but rather explanations about the hotkeys and how they function. When you start the VR motion controller mod, you experience the head tracking sensitivity problem. You're there. You install all the mods, you copy my files to activate the VR mod, and everything still looks clean with this high sensitivity modus. That's how, how I call it. What you can do now is pressing the Luke Ross hotkeys. You press F11, you activate the Luke Ross hotkeys. Like I mentioned, we get rid of that problem by using Luke Ross's hotkeys. The F11 button activates the hotkeys. There are five important buttons. K. Clean VR mode. Activates the clean Luke Ross VR mode, but unlocks the vehicle camera. The vehicle turns without you. This wouldn't be a problem if you could use snap or smooth turn. It is indeed special because there was never a way to play this virtual reality motion controller mode so clean. We press K and this helps. In this really art, yeah, with motion controls. So you press K and you have this open vehicle camera. Everything is playable, it's fine, it's cool, but you need to mess around with this problem now. What you can do is press K again and go back to the high sensitivity modus because it still has this clean Luke Ross flare. Or you press O and activate the janky modus. O, oh, jank mode. The O button toggles the view matrix fix for legacy mode. This is the mode that the VR mod was back in the days with Vorp X. I use this button to switch while driving or sniping, but you can also use high head tracking sensitivity mode while driving. It has the clean Luke Ross feeling. I press now O as a janky mode of the legacy modus. Yeah, it's also what should be called legacy modus. This is how the VR mod always was back in the day. Not clean. Oh, so all problems are gone, but it feels not clean anymore. That's why we call it janky modus. Of course, it's playable, but this is not good VR. But it was good enough back in the day, 2017, 2016. And if this modus would only work, I wouldn't celebrate this so much. J. Horizontal Recenter Fix. If you accidentally press this button, you will change the horizon just by turning the snap. Recentering will not work correctly. This is not VR anymore. It could be that you accidentally press J, and when you press J, you fucked up the entire VR mod. Because then you will change the horizon. At the moment, the game world floor is lined up with my real life floor. No matter what I do. But when you mess around with the J button, so I press J, and now when I just press the smooth turn, I change the entire horizon. When you come across this problem, to fix this F11 and the hotkey J, you don't see the results directly, just press the smooth turn. Also when I press now recenter, the horizon is wrong. It's not VR anymore. Numpad 0 is for positional tracking, or in this case, responsible for tracking of the motion controller weapons. The problem with this button is that it also opens and closes the motion controller VR mod menu. This means that in order to use these functions, when your weapon tracking is wrong, you need to press F11, then numpad 0, then F11, then numpad 0 again. 
This will fix the tracking problem. NumPad Zero. NumPad Zero is a problematic button because we're using a, a method with two mods and these mods are sharing the same button. It's overlapping. This button open the menu, but also when the hotkeys are activated, F11, it change the position of your weapon. It's actually deactivate positional tracking. Weapons are not tracked correctly anymore. So when you come across this problem, the tricky part is you need to press F11 again to deactivate the Luke Ross hotkeys. Close the menu when you need the hotkeys deactivate it again. Yeah, that, that's it for NumPad Zero. That's changing the weapon position. So get sure that you use the right modus. And backslash locks the HUD to the body. The next thing is when you start trying to play a little bit seriously, playing missions, you will come across the problem that the hood is often not in your view area. There's also a button for this. It is backslash. The English keyboard on German keyboard it's a different button. It has a numpad backslash. Also a Lucros hotkey for resettering. We're talking about backslash change the hood position. Right. Let me demonstrate. Yeah. So the hood stay in our own position as you can see. Turning physically also seems to not work flawlessly. The camera is open and you could think, yeah, bro man, I have crest. I can play wirelessly. Let me just turn physically. Open cam. So, but here's the thing. Positional tracking is not working correctly in a vehicle. I can't turn physically. Something is totally wrong here. In cars at least. Let me recenter. Drive. As long as I stay in position, everything is cool. Let me turn around now. Physically. And everything is hooked up. As you can see, physically turning. In vehicles, not walking. The controls are very different by default. You steer with your entire hand, not your head orientation. You press the right thumbstick to change weapons, and you are forced to use teleport by default. Also, drive-by shooting seems to be broken. It kind of works, but the weapon is invisible. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the bad input. Uh, this is the recenter button on the left side, the left menu button. How it works? You come across, oh no side steps, you move just forward and backward. You actually steer with the entire hand. It's hand oriented motion controls. That's how you can at least do side steps. The downside, it's hard to play with both hands together. The best way to play is really one handed and use the left controller for sidestepping. You can't enter vehicles. Uh, there's no enter the vehicle button by default. What the devil Opa want from you now? And to teleport. Why can you deactivate this option when you need this option to enter a vehicle? So you open the, the armored menu. You need to activate two functions to make it really to walk, jump to teleport and use mod controls needs to be activated. What you can do now is can have one now into the vehicles. You can smooth turn, I snap turn. You sprint on the left stick, weapon change, press the right stick. How you drive in a car? Not with triggers, they're doing nothing. To drive, you press forward on the stick, you steer with the entire motion controls. So you can celebrate this or hate it, you can decide. It's cool, but you have no other option. The VR mod force you to play like that. However, Many inputs still work. If you watch my old video, what exactly are you compensating for, buddy? You will be able to use them. You can use the touch controller as a gamepad, and you can start using a mix of default gamepad input and the Steam VR mod. You can now decide which VR mod inputs you will really need. As you can see, I almost deactivated them all. Currently, I am still looking for the best way to play. With this method, you can also bind keyboard keys to the touch controller with X batter, so I don't need to go to Dash, Virtual Desktop, or take off my headset every time. With X batter, I have total control over everything. I can recenter, 
Switch to jank mode or switch to high. Head tracking sensitivity mode to have a fixed camera while driving. So, Grand Sapphire High Virtuality cool is up, but not as good playable by default with this input. That's why you need help to make everything cool and playable. As long as I use Link, this is not working with Virtual Desktop, this is not working with Steam Link. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is x Just to demonstrate what's happening when I press this. It's a combination of all of this here. And VJoy and Auto Hotkey in combination, giving you direct input gamepad on your touch control. There's only missing one button and no D-pad. The right menu button is not working. This is direct input right now. And you can make from this direct input X input. So you can make this X input system wide, or you make X input per game. Put a few files into the game folder, and you start the game, and you have X input on your touch control in game. What you also can do when you get this to work, and bro, you need to watch my video probably to get this to work. Hello people, today I'll show you in 4 steps a way to use your Oculus touch controllers as direct input or even X input gamepad. This opens many doors. You can use for example XPada to bind keyboard keys. So the first step is to copy the links and download it all. Only the version that I linked is working. Oh, I pronounce this. It's working. <laughs> but it's true. It's so true. I tried without this video and I was screwed. Without D-pad at the moment. There will be no way to activate a D-pad, but yeah, nice. Correct myself, my future. X360CA. Yeah, how to pronounce this, huh, boy? So what I'm just setting here right now is really the few files that you can just copy into the game folders. But you can also do it system-wide, but I don't recommend it to do this. Um, because whenever you open the Oculus Dash menu, your touch controllers get recognized as touch controllers and gamepad at the same time and you will be not able to navigate in your Oculus Dash as I used to it. So I have not just gamepad input now on my touch controllers in GTA 5 VR. I have also here the total controls hidden hotkeys. So when I hold the right grip button, I have access to key and O and I can recenter, I can use D-pad function and that's how I have control over everything and can just play and have hotkeys. Here you have the VR mod inputs for the case you get the virtual gamepad to work when you don't want to steer and when you don't like steering with hands you can deactivate now the stick here you just can decide if you want to keep teleporting on the left trigger but you need to change this why because you start driving now backward with the left trigger and left trigger is also teleporting so that means you will leave the vehicle just deactivate teleporting in the vr mod menu also possible i recommend to keep the right stick on at least position because you have snap turn here this is a VR input that we need to keep on. I delete almost all of these inputs. I'm playing now with X input controls. Even Steam VR. Yeah, and that's boys. How I enjoy GTA VR Luke Ross with motion controls at the moment. It could be still overwhelming all this information at first, but you can easy try and error Learn with this video has foundation. Thank you so much for watching. Carry on with your business. Shit. Ah. Oh my, my.